How's it going guys, MCF Got Milk, welcome back to another auto video. In this video, I'm going to be talking about what is a rev line, what does it do, what does it does, and why it's there. So obviously all the same question, so without further ado, let's get into it. So what is the red line? Well, if you look at your tachometer, obviously your speedometer doesn't have one, but look at your tack, there's red lines. Everything else is black and it's red. That is the red line, quote unquote. So what is it for? It's so that you don't go over the revs, how much your engine can take. For example, I go from zero to seven. The red line is at seven. So once I get to about seven, you would think, oh gosh, you're gonna blow your engine up, right? No, that's not what happens. Our manufacturers usually have a limit in them. So for example, you can obviously see where six and a half starts to limit, but they generally super, super, super lower them. So literally this car can go up to eight to nine to 10 revs per minute and that will be extreme max cars done. They have at seven, just so they can be like for car people, oh, if you go up to seven, you're gonna ruin your car. That's not the case. Like for example, if you have a manual car, you can ride that red line. With automatic, the only way to get to the red line is if you absolutely floor it. If you've driven a car before, you obviously know how that works. So the RPMs mean revolutions per minute. So you're not doing seven, you're doing 7,000. Obviously you can see the RPM times 1,000. So just remember that your car cylinders are going like 7,000 times per minute, but that's only if you redline it. You can ride the red line, but don't do it constantly. That will cause damage. Because again, your car's manufacturer sits up the red line so that you don't even go close to maximizing it. So the limiter can again, will go to six and a half. Like I've never got my car all the way to seven before, even with extremely flooring it like pedal to the metal. Because again, the car is smart enough to do that with an automatic. But again, like I said, with a manual, you can bang it out all the time to the red line and you could damage your car. But again, this thing's called money shifting where you can collide things in your engine and it would just ruin it. But again, if you ever looked at diesels compared to gasoline cars, like this is a gasoline car, obviously. The gasoline car can go up to seven, which is just higher, and the seven's where the red line is. And in this Ford F-350 diesel Laurent, you can see it only goes up to five and the red line starts at four and you can see that there's an extreme difference. But again, this truck here will completely destroy my car in a drag race or anything like that. So again, you gotta be cautious about that. Again, it's gonna do the same thing if I floor this car, go all the way up to six or five, when I floor it in a diesel and it goes all the way up to three or four. It's just how the different engines are. So once again, if you go into the red line for like a split second to be like, oh my God, I just damaged my car tremendously. You did not, it's just again there for a warning, warning you're gonna pretty much do damage to your engine if you continue any further. Mr. Popo just pulled up to do some radar on our street because people love to fly down our street. But all right guys, that's the video. I know it's very quick and bleg, but again, it's the best I can do because again, I'm not, it's kind of hard to hold the camera without like having a GoPro connect to a hat or something like that. And, and plus I don't feel like going down the street and absolutely like flooring it because why waste gas and why pretty much damage your car because again the more rpms the hotter your engine gets and the more it just kind of like messes it up so i hope you guys enjoyed i hope you guys learned a little bit more information that redlining is actually not going to damage your car as much as you think it is but again if you do it for a lot of times you do it for a while again if you're in a manual and you're riding that first gear all the way up to the red line for a while then yeah you're going to burn out your clutch you're going to damage your engine so it's going to cost some money but without further ado guys i hope you enjoyed make sure you follow my instagram and twitter and i'll see you in the next one take care